Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today we are going to talk about some new pickups that I grabbed from the Disney Movie Club. I have a stack of Disney Movie Club Blu-ray exclusives that I want to show you guys, and then I also want to talk a little bit about the Disney Movie Club, and even though Disney has done some kind of weird things for physical media and hasn't been fully supportive of it lately, this is actually one of their better things that they've done. So I do want to highlight it and show it off and talk about it for all you collectors out there who may want to add these movies like I did. So if you like Blu-ray collecting, movie collecting, 4K reviews, home theater topics, all that good stuff, please subscribe to the channel. We're pushing towards our goal of 100,000 subscribers here in 2022, and I can really use your help. So I appreciate that. And now let's jump right into the video. So before I jump into what I picked up, first of all, I want to talk about how I got these titles and talk a little bit about the Disney Movie Club as a whole. So I got all of these titles from my friend Joe Martinez. He has a YouTube channel with his wife, Marie. I'm going to link them down in the description. But he is an active member of the Disney Movie Club. And so I reached out to him. I asked if I could buy some titles. And he was kind enough to put through a purchase for me after I paid him for everything and ship them right to my house. So while I am not an active member, the only way to get Disney Movie Club exclusive Blu-rays is by being a member or by being friends with somebody who is a member. So I have been a member in the past of the Disney Movie Club. I've signed up a couple of times with different coupon codes and it is a really nice way to bulk up your Disney and Pixar collection and now Marvel and Star Wars as well because they have so many properties. Then to maintain your membership, what you have to do is over the next year, you have to buy three of their monthly titles which are usually priced at like $30. So they're like full MSRP, but you only have to buy those once every couple of months to maintain your membership. And then by being a member, you then have access to lots of other deals. You can still do big bulk purchases, which is what Joe did here for me. And you have exclusive access to all of the Disney Blu-ray and Disney DVD uh, movie club exclusives, which you cannot buy anywhere else. These are not on Amazon. You can't find them at Target or Walmart. You'll never see them on the shelves at Best Buy. They're exclusive to the Disney movie club. The only way you can get them is on eBay, but you're probably going to pay a ton of money for them. So because Joe was so nice and he hooked me up, usually uh, you would put a referral code or a link um, for somebody else to sign up. And that also gives you guys benefits if you want to sign up and it supports the person who is referring you. Because I'm not an active member right now, I'm going to put Joe's link down in the description because he hooked me up with all of these movies. So if you use his link, you'll get some exclusive first time uh, Disney Movie Club ownership uh, benefits. You'll get that uh, access to that first time onboarding deal, which is a pretty good way to bulk up your collection. And you'll also support Joe because his channel is great and he's been really supportive of me and my channel. So that's sort of the quick lowdown on Disney Movie Club. It's an exclusive thing. It costs a little bit of money, but the only way to get some of these movies that I'm going to show you and some others that I have already in my collection is by being a member. So if you are interested in these titles or you just want to buy a bunch of Disney, Marvel, Star Wars, you want to build your collection, this is a great, great way to do it, notwithstanding all the other benefits that you can get. So now I want to show you guys what I got because I'm super excited. I grabbed 13 Blu-ray exclusives from the Disney Movie Club, and a bunch of these are super nostalgic movies for me, movies that I grew up on. A lot of this is pretty 1990s heavy, a little bit early 2000s, but right in the sweet spot where I was growing up, and mostly live action Disney stuff. Now, you can find this stuff on Disney+, Plus, but I never trust a streaming service, even Disney's own streaming service, to A, keep those titles up forever, B, not censor them or edit them in some way after the fact, and C, I just, you know, would rather own them physically in my collection, have them on the shelf. So the total cost, because the Disney Movie Club has these benefits for members, um, I had to buy two of these at full price through Joe, and then I think two, the rest of them were 50% off. So you buy two of them at like 20 bucks and the rest are like $12. It averages out to be somewhere about like $15 a disc, which for me isn't too bad. 13 movies for $185, $189 shipping included. Um, for me, that was well worth it to grab some of these really nostalgic movies and add them to my collection. So let me run you through what I got. First off, um, I think most of you guys will probably know this, but the 20th anniversary edition of The Parent Trap. Now, this is the Lindsay Lohan version. This is not the older version. Um, I know this one much better, so that's why I grabbed it. But they also do have the original as a Disney Blu-ray uh, exclusive to the movie club. 
if you wanted to grab that as well. I went with the newer one because that's what I'm more familiar with, but they do have a lot of older movies too from like the 60s and 70s on there. I also have the 15th anniversary edition of Holes. I grew up on this movie. I grew up on this book. This was like the hottest book in like late elementary, like fifth, sixth grade. Like this was the book. And this movie is, is still really good, has a great cast, and I was so excited to finally find it on Blu-ray. I didn't even know it existed until I started searching the Disney Movie Club, but it's a classic, classic movie. Now, the next one is the first Jonathan Taylor Thomas, but not the last movie you'll see, and it's Tom and Huck. I remember watching this on VHS way back in the day. It's kind of a Disney take on the Tom Sawyer, Huckleberry Finn uh, story from Mark Twain. Really, really fun movie to watch with kids. There's uh, you know some scary moments, some adventurous moments. It's probably a little bit more for like an older group of kids, like maybe eight to 10 years old. But I remember loving this movie, having a lot of fun watching it. And so no brainer again to grab this, especially because it's a Blu-ray exclusive only from the Disney Movie Club. I just had to have these. Now, next up is a movie that I watched a lot as a kid, and it is The Kid with Bruce Willis. Basically, this movie is, uh, it, it's definitely a family comedy, but it has some moments that'll hit your heart as an adult because essentially what it is, is Bruce Willis meets the, um, meets his eight-year-old self as an adult, and his eight-year-old self is not happy with where adult Bruce Willis ended up. And so there's some really funny moments, but also some stuff that, you know, hits pretty close to home when you're, you know, pushing 30 years old here and you're looking back on childhood. So um, a, a movie that you could definitely watch with your kids, but also appreciate as an adult. Next up, we got the Disney Movie Club exclusive Blu-ray of George of the Jungle. Now, Brendan Fraser was everybody's favorite actor in the 90s with all of his great movies, the Mummy series, George of the Jungle. I mean, I remember singing the George of the Jungle song nonstop as a kid. I still remember Watch Out for That Tree. Like, this movie was a moment when you were five or six years old in the 90s. So, had to have this one and hoping to watch it someday with my kids because... I think it's still very, very funny, and Brendan Fraser does a great job. Next up, we've got um, a really fun one if you like uh, baseball and sort of if you like The Sandlot or the movie Rookie of the Year. Um, I believe this actually, this is the same kid from Rookie of the Year, but it's a kid in King Arthur's Court, which is actually based on a Mark Twain novel, but basically this kid, he's like this baseball player, 14 year old, he kind of lets his team down, but then an earthquake hits and he gets transported back to King Arthur's Court and has to help save the kingdom. Crazy, crazy fantasy story, but exactly the type of thing that kids love. And I was a big baseball guy growing up, so I loved this kid in Rookie of the Year. I watched that nonstop. I loved The Sandlot, and this was another really, really good one. Not as baseball heavy as those other two, but just loved the concept of it and had a lot of fun watching it growing up. Now, this next one I haven't actually seen, but when I was picking out movie club exclusives to buy... My wife remembers watching this one and she wanted it for our collection. So it's Ice Princess with Michelle uh, Trachenberg, 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 I think you say is how you say her name. Um, she was big in the in the 90s, early 2000s as well. But it's sort of a coming of age story. This kind of nerdy girl wants to be a, you know, a world famous figure skater. Um, so I, I don't know much about it, but I know that uh, she wanted it badly for the collection and, and used to watch it a lot as a kid herself. So another one that we'll you know probably watch with our kids someday as well. Now, next up, we got some more Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and this is the anniversary edition, although it doesn't tell me which anniversary, which is odd, but it is I'll Be Home for Christmas. This is a very underrated Christmas movie, and it's pretty funny. You could watch it with your kids, but also get enough adult laughs. It's almost like a kid's version of The Hangover to some extent. Basically, this kid is a college freshman. He needs to get home in time for Christmas, or he's going to miss out on a vintage Porsche as his Christmas gift and he wakes up in the desert with a Santa suit on and has no idea what happened. So obviously he's trying to get home and it's sort of like a, almost like a road trip type movie, but like has a lot of crazy different, you know, elements in it. It, it does remind me sort of like, it, it, not to a full extent, but like seriously, like a child's version of The Hangover or like The Hangover Christmas for kids. So uh, a lot of fun to watch. And this is like one of the 
probably last movies Jonathan Taylor Thomas was really big in because he sort of started to age out after this. This is a much older uh, movie for him. He's a lot older in it. So um, really interesting in that regard. Then we get the 15th anniversary edition of Freaky Friday. Again, the newer edition. This is the one I remember. This is the one I grew up on. But this is Lindsay Lohan, Jamie Lee Curtis. But if you did want the original Freaky Friday, that is also available as a Blu-ray exclusive for the Disney Movie Club. So that's out there, but had to grab this one along with Parent Trap. Um, these were, you know, a couple of Lindsay Lohan's biggest movies. She did a lot with Disney, and they also have some of the Herbie fully loaded movies on Disney Movie Club as well, both the older versions and some of the newer ones. So if you're interested in the early Lindsay Lohan filmography, they have a lot of stuff there for her. Now, next up, we got the 20th anniversary edition Blu-ray of Mighty Joe Young, another one I watched a ton as a kid, probably because I liked King Kong a lot, and this is a similar type story. It's like a little bit um, less fantasy and otherworldly than like King Kong was, a little bit more grounded, but Bill Paxton, Charlize Theron, um, basically they're just trying to protect this big old elephant who's getting tracked down by poachers, and they bring him out to California and... Um, you know, some craziness takes place. So a lot of fun. Can't wait to revisit this again because it's a, you know, it's a heartwarming movie. It has a lot of really nice moments in it, but also has some comedy and some really goofy stuff. Anytime you got a big gorilla, you're going to have some fun. So it's a fun one to watch with your family. Next up, another classic. Had to have this in the collection, but it is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with Rick Moranis, who was killing it killing it in the 80s and 90s before he basically retired from film. But again, a movie I watched dozens and dozens and dozens of times. A lot of fun, really cool effects considering like how old this movie was at the time. Um, but just a, you know, classic fantasy story. Oops, the mad scientist shrunk the kids and now they're running around and fighting ants and stuff. I mean, it's a lot of fun to watch and Rick Moranis is great in it. Um, so had to have this one in my collection and you know, as I was getting that one, I was sort of thinking like, I, I wish they had some of those, like, I they really need Flubber. That's the one that they were missing. Disney Movie Club doesn't have Flubber yet on Blu-ray, and it doesn't have a Blu-ray release anywhere. I think that's one that needs to happen, and hopefully they'll have it soon, because it's right up the same alley as like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids uh, for me, like that kind of mad scientist type movie that's a lot of fun to watch. Now, the only animated one, believe it or not, that I got from this whole pickup, I got a lot of live action stuff, nostalgic stuff here, but had to have a goofy movie. Another one I watched dozens and dozens and dozens of times, has excellent music, has some really depressing lows as an adult in this movie, some really nice highs. I mean, this one hits home more as an adult when you start to see the relationship between father and son in this movie. It is like amazingly a really really well done goofy movie um, but it has some really nice themes and it's just a lot of fun to watch and seriously like some of the best music of the 90s is in this movie so the only animated one I grabbed but knew I had to have it and then last up we've got the 20th anniversary edition of Jungle to Jungle this movie came out in the late 90s and this may have been one that I watched more than any other on this list. I remember watching this over and over and over again and thinking it was hilarious and it still does hold up. Tim Allen is really, really funny in this and also has Martin Short. So the basic story is Tim Allen's this big Wall Street guy. He's getting divorced from his first wife. He goes to finalize it. She's kind of like out in the jungle working with some um, like tribe and doing humanitarian work and he finds out he has a 13 year old kid who basically was raised in the jungle and he takes him back to the the big apple new york city and then of course sort of fish out of water type stuff takes place and there are a ton a ton of funny moments and it's also like so funny because it's so 1990s wall street corporate with tim allen's character and all the stuff that's going on there um it's a really funny look into like that sort of culture mixed with this you know this kid coming in from the jungle very very good movie would highly recommend watching it with your kids. I think it's a lot of fun and it definitely has plenty of adult laughs as well. So that's the stack right here, all with these nice yellow uh, spines on them. No slip covers or anything, but they look really, really good on a shelf. And that's really it. So like I have maybe 20 of these movies now and they really only started cranking out the classics like this on Blu-ray maybe three years ago. Most of these are from 2018, 2019, 2020, or even 2021. 
So it's only been a few years. I'm hoping they continue to do this and I likely will place another order either by signing up myself next time or talking to Joe again and helping, uh, see if he can help me out because um, he's always been super, super helpful for the channel. Um, so really excited to see what comes next and you know, I do have some negativity about Disney sometimes. I don't like what they're doing with physical. I don't like what they're doing with 4K a lot of times, but this is really probably the best thing they do. And they are still putting out Blu-ray discs and still putting out those catalog titles, Disney Channel movies, you know, these these classic movies from the 90s, which don't get as much hype, especially all the live action stuff because Disney's so focused on animation sometimes. So it's nice to see they are still supporting them. The transfers are decent. They're not like top of the line blu-ray transfers in a lot of ways but they are a big improvement over a dvd many of them have dts hd 5.1 so modern audio that's really good but i just i love having these hd transfers of them and, and i will give props to disney for this now i wish they made it more wide open and you didn't have to join the disney movie club to get them but that's sort of the only caveat. So if you do want to join it or you just want to check out what's there, I'll put the links down in the description. And if you use Joe's referral link, that helps support him and he supports the channel. So I really appreciate him. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little trip back into the 90s with some nostalgia here on Blu-ray. And certainly if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or, you know, reach out to Joe and his wife on their channel. I'm sure they can help you as well sort of navigate how to sign up and the best ways to take advantage of it because they are Disney Movie Club experts. So I'll link his channel. I'll link his referral link. Definitely check both of those out. Also, make sure you subscribe and have your notifications on. Check me out on social media, TikTok, just hit 50,000 followers on there, which is insane. We also have Instagram and Twitter, so check me out there. Make sure you give me a follow. And other than that, just check out all the other links in the description for ways you can support me. But the best way is watching this video and subscribing. So I appreciate it. So that's it. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you all soon.